Today we turn two Taco Bell favorites, keto, with just a few simple ingredients, you can make a crunchy Doritos flavored taco shell that's only three carbs, and I'll show you how to make a crunchy tostado shell for our Keto Crunch Wrap Supreme. These versions of the Doritos Locos Taco and Crunchwrap Supreme are not only better for you, but they actually taste better than the versions that you're gonna get at Taco Bell. So let's get to cooking so you can satisfy that Taco Bell crunch. First, let's make up a bunch of taco meat for these Taco Bell favorites. I have a few pounds of ground beef and I'll let that cook until it's just browned before adding our taco seasoning. And if you're looking for a delicious keto approved taco seasoning, I have one on my website. Just Google keto focused taco seasoning to find it. Then add a little bit of water, cover it and let it simmer for five minutes or so. While it's cooking, I'll work on the other components. For the Crunchwrap Supreme, it's basically a tortilla pillow filled with ground beef, cheese, lettuce, tomato, sour cream, and a crunchy shell, so let's make that crunchy shell. For this, you need one and a third cups of almond flour, two tablespoons of unflavored zero carb protein powder, and I'll have the brand that I use listed down below for you, one tablespoon of xanthan gum, and a half a teaspoon of salt. Then we pour in six tablespoons of hot water and then stir that together with a fork. Once you have a big ball of dough like this, we're gonna cut it up into eight small balls by cutting in halves and then fours and then cut them all again. To flatten them, I'm gonna use a tortilla press because it does the best job and you can flatten them in seconds. But you could also use a rolling pin, just put it in between two sheets of parchment paper. Place the ball in between two sheets of parchment circles and this is just gonna help prevent your dough from sticking to the tortilla press. Plus, it's a great way to individually store them if you like to meal prep because you could put all these in the freezer and just take them out when you need them. Then we fry these into hard shells. In a skillet, you're gonna pour a little bit of avocado oil, just enough to cover your shell, and then heat it to medium heat. Once the oil is hot enough, you're gonna add one shell and submerge it. And let it fry for several minutes until it starts to harden or get golden brown, and then you can flip it over and let it cook some more. Then remove it and transfer it to a paper towel lined plate to dry. While I work on the other tostado shells, let me ask you a question. Do you love accountability and crushing your goals? Accountability plays a huge part in my life, in my business, my family, just all avenues, but I never really seem to apply it to my fitness journey. I'm not very consistent with working out at all. Sometimes I'll do two or three weeks worth of workouts and then it's crickets for weeks. But I've always found that when I'm held accountable, I get stuff done. So when Future reached out to me to sponsor this video, I knew this was a sign I needed to get my act together. Future is a new fitness app that connects you with an online personal trainer who will send you workouts each each week. They'll monitor your performance and message you to keep you motivated. When you sign up, you have a video call with your trainer just to talk about your fitness goals and they'll develop a workout plan based on your conversation. When I had my FaceTime call with Lainey, we talked about what my goals were and what sort of workouts I wanted to do. I told her that I love my Peloton and that I wanted to get back to writing it more consistently. After that, you get daily guidance and support and they're always available to answer questions you have about nutrition, workouts, or even wellness. And if you skip a workout, or even think about it, your coach is right there to help guide you back on track. So if you want a workout plan that's built just for you to keep you focused and motivated, then go to tryfuture.co slash ketofocus to try your first month for just $19. That's cheaper than most gym memberships. Now that my hard tostado shells are done, let's assemble the Crunchwrap Supreme. First, you need to find a large low carb tortilla and it needs to be large because you need to be able to fold it like a pillow. To the center, you're gonna add a few scoops of taco meat, not too much because you still need to be able to fold it. And next, this is optional, but it's actually what they put in a Crunchwrap Supreme, which is nacho cheese sauce. And I'll talk about how you can make a zero carb nacho cheese sauce a little bit later. Then add your tostado shell, followed by sour cream, lettuce, tomato, and more cheese. And then you're gonna to top that with a small tortilla that's about the same size of your tostada. You could actually also cut this out of your larger tortilla, just kind of use the tostada as a guide. Then fold the edges and then flip it seam side down into a skillet that we've already sprayed with cooking spray. Let it cook for several minutes until it's golden brown on that side and then flip it over and cook the other side until that's golden brown. And this is seriously one of the best things I've had in a long time. It is 100% better than Taco Bell's and better for you too. And I find that I only need to eat half of it cause it's like, it's super filling. Now let's make the Doritos Locos. And in case you didn't know what that is, it's a taco where the taco shell is made out of Doritos. For this one, we start with the same base recipe as our taco shells. One and a third cups of almond flour, two tablespoons of protein powder, one tablespoon of xanthan gum, half a teaspoon of salt, and then I'm gonna be adding my cheese flavoring right to this mixture. So three tablespoons of cheddar cheese powder, and I'll have this listed down below on where I got it, 
one and a half teaspoons of chili powder, and three quarter teaspoon of smoked paprika. So instead of adding all these to your tortilla now, you could add them separately and dust them to your finished taco shell, sort of like a real Dorito, but I didn't wanna mess with that and have cheese powder all over my fingers, so they're going straight into our tortilla. Then we add in the water, and you might need a little bit more water, so six to seven tablespoons here. And then press the tortillas just like we did the tostada shells, and we're gonna fry these in avocado oil as well. Place the tortilla down in and let it cook just until it starts to harden, and then we're gonna flip it over, and then holding that edge open just so that it doesn't close on itself. We're gonna fry that side for a few minutes and then flip and fry the other side. You wanna cook it just until it bubbles and it gets hard. And then we'll remove it and place it on a paper towel to dry. And I find that having them dry upside down like this will keep them open so you can stuff them without cracking your taco shell. Now we add our taco meat and fixings, and look at how similar this is to the real thing. For that zero carb nacho sauce, I make it using three different types of cheeses and one special ingredient. You wanna see how to make it? Just click right here. 